So before moving into the question, let me show you the data set that I have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment and that is called as the sales detail. Okay. And if you want to see the data, what exactly it contains, so just click on this table view and inside this sales detail, here you can see it contains three columns. One is ID, next is state column and third one is the sales amount column. Okay. And here you can see these are the sales amount based on the state, right? And point to be noted that in the state of Odisha, okay, in the state of Odisha, we have not done any cells. That's why here we are getting the blank value, correct? Now let's move to the report view and let's see the question. So as you can see here, we have a sales data containing the sales detail in various states, right? And we have noticed that no cell for the state of Odisha. So we are getting the blank value over here right so the challenges is that we have to create a power bi report to ensure that the cells column display zero for odisha when there is no cells data for the state while keeping original cells value for all other state all right it means the state wherever the cells amount is getting blank we have to replace this blank value with the zero value okay so how can you replace this blank value with zero that we will see in this particular video all right so to resolve this problem we have three different ways by the help of which we can replace this blank value with zero value all right first one is by using the if logical function the next is by using the coli stacks function okay and third one is by using the zero value all right so let's see one by one how we can resolve this problem by the help of these three different ways all right so as you can see here this is one table visual that i have already created okay and in this table visual i have imported the id state and the sales amount column from this sales detail table okay and next is this is the slicer visual and in this slicer visual i have dragged the state column from the sales detail table to this field section okay then the next is the card visual where we are showing the total sales value okay and that is getting from the sales amount column of this sales detail table all right and also you should notice that whenever you are clicking on the odisha state in this particular slicer at that time here you can see the state is odisha and the sales amount is getting blank and also here you can see in place of total sales you are getting as b l a n k it means it's the blank value right so in place of here also we have to replace this blank value with zero as well all right so let's see how we can do this so for that first of all we have to create one measure so just right click on this particular table then click on new measure then rename it as total underscore cells all right then equal to then we have to use the dex functions that is sum okay and inside this sum dex function we will pass the column name that is sales amount of the sales detail table okay then close the bracket and click enter and as you can see here we have successfully created one measure called as the total sales right and then after writing this total sales measure at the end what we have to do we have to add one element that is zero okay then click enter and after that if you will drag this total cells measure inside this table visual you can see in place of blank value we are getting zero and for other we are getting the same value okay how we are getting zero here because at the end of this total sales measure we are adding the zero value got it so if the sales amount cell is blank then we have to add zero with that blank value so output will be zero right so this is the first method by the help of which we can replace the blank value with the zero value all right same way if we will click on this particular card visual and it will drag the total cells in place of sum of cells amount then we can also see the same value if i'll click on this odisha state then here we are able to see the total cells is zero instead of blank right and here also we are able to see the total cells value as zero right in place of blank value got it 
so the first method that we have done is by using the zero right then the next method that we are going to see is by using the if logical function okay so for that also what we have to do we have to create one measure all right so just right click on it then click on the new measure then replace it as if measure if underscore measure all right then equal to and here we have to use if clause right then click enter and inside this if clause what we will do we will use another dex functions that is called as the is blank all right so is blank dex functions is used to check whether a value is blank and return true or false all right and this is blank dex functions take only one argument that is called as a value so in place of value we will take the total cells column all right then we will pass the total cells measure of this cells detail table okay then here you have to give the comma then zero then again we have to enter the comma and then again we have to enter the total cells measure of the cells detail table okay then if you will click enter then you can see here we have successfully created one measure called as the if underscore measure okay it means if the total underscore cells measure of the cell underscore detail table is blank then we will give the output as a zero otherwise we will give the total cells value of the cells underscore detail table all right and now if i will drag this new measure that we have created that is if measure inside this column section all right then here also you are able to see the zero value in place of this blank value right and again if you will click on this particular card visual and if you will drag this if measure matrix visual inside this field section then also here you are able to see the 34 and if you will click on this odisha then you can see the if measure column is giving the result as the zero and here also you are able to see the total cells value is zero in place of blank right so this is the second method by the help of which we can replace this blank value with the zero value all right so now let's see the third method that is by using the collage dex function okay so for that again you have to create a new measure okay so for that right click on it then click on new measure then rename it as c o l a s a e underscore measure all right then equal to and now here we have to use the dex functions that is called as the collage dex function okay then click enter and, and here you can see this collage dex functions return the first argument that does not evaluate to be a blank value and if all arguments evaluate to be blank value then blank is returned all right and it take the argument as the values all right so the first argument that we are going to give here is total cells of this cells detail table all right so here we have to enter the total cells measure that we have created for the cells detail table all right then give the comma then let's give the second argument as zero okay then again close the bracket it means it means the collage dex function check the first argument that is total cells measure of the cells detail table right and if it will get the blank value for the first argument then it will give the result as a zero all right that's why we have used these collage tax functions over here to replace this blank value okay so just click enter and here you can see we have successfully created this collage measure right so just click on this matrix or table visual okay then drag this measure into the below part of this particular column section all right and here you can see we are able to see the zero value in place of this blank value correct and again if i will click on this particular card visual and if i will drag this collage measure and put it in the field section then here also we are able to see the 34 m all right and if i will click on this odisha and here we are able to see the total cells value is zero and this collage measure column also showing the data as a zero in place of this blank value all right 
so these are the three different way by the help of which we can replace the blank value with zero value in power bi all right so i hope this video is more helpful for all of you to understand how you can handle the blank value and you can replace that with the zero all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye